Do 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 Good day, BBPN and guests there. Well, surprise, surprise. It looks like we're going to be back on the old system for a little while here while we go and cover BBPN Season 9 as it's ongoing here. Yes, we did have some schedules up there for getting some more bloody awful. But right now we're having technical difficulties with the new machine. you got to love new technology, is it? It's like Scotty used to say, the fancier you make it, it is, the easier it is to fancy up the parliament, isn't it? All right, let's get out there to the stadium. And oh, God, they left the sprinklers on. Well, that's the day, isn't it there? Let's get out there. Constable Ed, yeah, they've left the sprinklers on again. Who knew I was elves? Yeah, that's what I was thinking here. All right, let's take a look at what we got here today. Oh, God, he must be paying me. All right, dwarves. It's fucking dwarves. Mind you, it's dwarf squad that's had a rough start. As you can see, not one but two loners. Yep, dead and dead. They had a great start. So, yep, it's a dwarf squad. It's already got loners. They've only got the one troll slayer. So you look here, they still got the two blitzes and they still got two runners. Hey, they fully skilled one. About bloody time. Meanwhile, Bretonians on the other side here, as you can see, the Bretonians do not have any reserves. Two rerolls, however, everyone, the peasants, the peons, even their women are cheering for them. And they do actually have a blodger. And then you have a tackle. Why tackle against dwarves? Alright, well, who cares? They get a free reroll. <laughs> Alright, that will make it three re-rolls there for the Bretonians, and let's get this Battle Royale started. Well, at least let's get something started here anyway. There there we go. Solid it. And take some down. Uh, at least that's what he says anyway there. Oh, stop laughing there. Yeah, Dwarves having a bit of a laugh anyway. Second punch. Takes another one down. Well, he's working on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're having their fun here. See, it's the whole fun when you have to start getting back onto your old system here. All right. Well, the dwarves punching left, right, and center here. So far, so good. They are driving. Through. Well, no one's dead yet for the dwarves. That, that's pretty remarkable in their own sense here. No, seriously, that's remarkable for them there. Remember, they've had one hell of those seasons there constantly where they kept having people getting killed all day. Yeah, what's happened? It has been known to happen there, but don't worry. Hopefully there'll be a dead dwarf later on as we speak. Oh dear. I'm TNT. I'm Dynamite! Oh, there you are. All right, fine. Now the dwarves are going to speak. All right, there we go. All right, he's got his ball. Now remember, it is pissing rain here, so they don't work as well. However, didn't even need the sure hands. Got it on the first try. Yes, it's a bloody miracle. Yeah, even the dwarves think it's a bloody miracle. Yeah, oops, that wasn't supposed to work first try. And here come the Bretonians here. Now, Bretonians should actually have a bit of a partial advantage here because they have the Bill Bexley speed versus the Columbusum and slow dwarves. Because most of the dwarves are Elmu 4. They've got at least, you know, two to go five, maybe three. And, of course, they got the two runners. The slowest, though, the Bretonians can easily keep up with them. They all move six or better here. Of course, they're already out of peasants. No surprises there. All right, let's continue the onslaught here. Dwarves, they seem to be committed. They're just going to go one way, and they're not really changing their minds much here. Mind you, punching. They love punching so far. Push me, push you. Fends them off. you got to love Fend. Fend's always been one of those underrated skills of the game there. Big punch! Got him! Let's get to fighting! Yeah, indeed. Let's get to fighting there. There's another solid KO there. And the bells of Ben Kishi have definitely been wrong here. Well, now the Britannians have a bit of a problem, don't they? They're already down two KOs. Oh, there's a skull. Draw sweet roll that one there. Get another solid hit. And there's a takedown. Yes, we have ourselves a Britannian Cathedral, don't we? What's the plan here? I mean, what? Push me, push you. 
Well, the Bretonians can still contain this, but now life's a little bit tricky. But you can see where he's moved the runner in here with the ball. Now, either he's got a hell of a gumption or he's drunk. Pick one. All right, here it comes. Oh, dodge this. Hey, that actually worked. Uh, for one push. There it is, the second one. And he knocks him right down there. Of course he does. Oh, that is me, drink. Get in my belly. Yeah, we will get into something all right here. Yeah? All right. Will the Bretonians go after him? Yes, they do. Too nice. They got the bastard. Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, the Bretonians, if they take a chance, can get in here and get the ball, but they do need to go charging in. And you can see, he makes the risk, makes the dodge, and does not make the dodger. Oh, well, the gerbil. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. It is the... It is the gerbil. That's what they're looking for. Not once, but twice they're looking for the gerbil, and down he goes. Ah, uh, sigh. Da, da, da. Oh, oh, you gotta love it. Double one. Only way he was getting stopped on that one. Yeah, thank you very much for your incompetence there, lad. Well, it's not the coach's fault. It's clearly his players. The players are definitely a bit of a problem there. All right, dwarves. Well, now they get a chance to recover it. In the river, it still is pissing rain, so minus one to pick up the ball. There's no guarantee they're going to get it there. Dwarves not exactly known for... Now they're going to say, what? Up oh, there's a one-die block right into a skull. That's now the second time the dwarves have pulled that one off. Push me, push you. And yeah, bit of a scrum going on here. Dwarves are trying to free up one of the runners. Pick one. I think this is the one they prefer because, hey, he's got bludge. Yeah, it's a runner. Well, one wait. Now he doesn't have bludge yet. What am I thinking? He's only got block. Well, that means he's a real dwarf now, isn't he? Yeah, that's what we meant to say. All right, solid it. Yeah, you can tell I've been hitting the soul. So there we go. Oh, God. First try. You've got a chip on your shoulder. Mm, yes, and a bit of fish, too. Dwarves keep getting in on the first try here. What the hell's going on? I thought pouring rain was supposed to be their nemesis. Nemesis? Oh, dear. And that's how baby dwarves are made. Ah! Yeah, I know. I'm the same scream myself here. Yep, dwarves are just getting to work here. That is now the third KO. They're not getting any casualties, but they don't care at this point here. They can just score it up. Well, now you notice the Bretonians have a bit of a problem here. They're missing three players. That's the flank. It's gone. All they got is the center, and of course, they've got the other flank. So now they're going to have to go and redeploy. So here he comes, charging out here. Takes good advantage of things. And the Bretonians, well, now like I'd say they've got a problem. Yes, you still have speed, but this is a problem here. You're down three players. Even the dwarves might be able to give you a bit of a problem here. Well, at least they're going to try anyway. Dwarves redeploying here. Now, at this point here, turn four, they have managed to recover their balls. Yay. Yeah. It's not what he did in the last time he was married. Charges in. Big punch. Gets the blodger. Yes, of course he does. It's an easy pal. Why would it be? One doesn't need tackle. One doesn't. And yep, Dwarven loners so far have been earning their pay. They're still alive. They're actually still punching things. Well done, lads. They all know the big punch. Peasant goes flying. And the dwarves, as you can see here, relentlessly keep moving down here. Now, this, if the Bretonians take a chance, can still get at them. However, how many chances are they going to take? I shot the sheriff and the deputy and your wee doggy too. Oh, don't we wish. All right. Big Porch takes him down. Thanks for standing still, wanker. Unfortunately, it's only a stun. That really does not help the Bretonian situation here. Remember, they're already down three players. How about you? Oh, hell no. Nope, still not. Yep, it's another stun. Ooh, yep, for once the dwarves are staying alive. It's not the normal game. Let's see how they started off. Yeah, we seem to have a bad habit with dwarf coaches in this league here. All right, here he goes. Now, does it cut the corner? Does it risk it? Now, you can see here the Bretonians. Well, they've adjusted. I'll give them that. Taking advantage of the fact that the nobles do movement seven there. So, 
it's the best the coach can do here. There's nothing wrong with this readjustment here. It's, it's just basically having to make up for the fact you're missing three players suddenly. All right, and the dwarves again with the chaos. Uh, Poor Cosmo Dan. Well, you've made yourself a nice little pretty Bretonian cathedral over there. That's four. And the Bretonians are now down to seven players on the pitch here, yet they're still fighting. All right, charges in. Another big solid hit sends the yeoman flying. Ow! Take this, you bastard! Well, there you go. For oh, it's an apothecary, because of course it is. Yep! Finally, the dwarves do actually do something other than a KO. And there goes the apothecary. And really, the reason why he does that, because he took a look and figured, no, nah, that's a permanent injury. He might as well use it at this point now. And the dwarves, they're on their way. We'll do it in a jiffy. Looks like they're going to go for a quick score there. Meanwhile, down there, solid block, solid punch, takes the poor person down there. And the dirt and the turnips go flying. And now we're on to the Bretonians here. Only six players remaining on the pitch here. Can they stop the drive here? Well, that's a good question here. It's going to take a miracle play. Now, at this point here, the Bretonians, well, what else have they got to lose besides the game? And he does it! He makes the miracle dodge! One die, it's a skull. Try that again! There we go! He got him! Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Nicely, of uh, course, and now he's got the ball. Uh, that wasn't the plan if you're the Bretonians. He wasn't wanting to get the ball. He wanted it to bounce out and be thrown back in. Now he's stuck with a bloody thing. Oh, well. Changed the plan again, and the dwarves not too happy about that, but they'll have to do something about this. Dwarves rushing back down the field here. Turn six. Dwarves can easily recover this here. Uh, will they? <laughs> Burning, looting, bombing, shooting. So it will be. It's yet another KO. Yep, the dwarves have done it again. There goes another one, and the Bretonians are down to five players on the pitch. Oh, it's not too bad compared to some other games we've cast earlier on. But yeah, this is getting brutal. Makes all the GFIs, all for a push P, push O. And then, of course, it's a double block there. This is my boomstick! Well, he can still run away. They'll get it up. Oh, there it is. Double skull. We must defeat the dwarves. Oh, we are the dwarves. Oh. Well, at least the dwarves are consistently rolling enough skulls to make it interesting here. It's not changed the nature of the game. They haven't died for once. But there we go. Now, the Bretonians. He's got an idea. Not too sure if it's a good idea. There he goes. Makes the dodge. Goes in for the two dice. And he got him. Good lord. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah, indeed. Bang, bang, bang. And there he goes. Running for his life. Makes the first year fight. Is he going to make a second one? Nope. Not risking it there. He's going to save that last precious reroll. There we go. Solid it into the runner. Now he's got one player to dive out here. What's his job? Screen. Literally, that's your job there, lad. Now, the Britannians might actually score this thing, which would be pretty remarkable considering he's down to five players. It's five versus eleven. Dwarves, as you can see, nothing. It's all stunned so far. And despite the best effort of the coach to try and get his team killed this season. Seriously, that seems to be the accusation there. It's all up to him to kill his own team. Hooty hoo a dee. All right, dwarves. Round the benders there, makes the GFI, here we go, charges in, goes to the two dice, does he get him? Yeah, that wasn't a surprise there, bye bye! For Iron Forge! Gee, it's a KO, what a surprise indeed, yeah, absolutely, what a surprise indeed. That's another one into the Cathedral of Bretonians, yep, not six. Uh, the Bretonians are down to four players. This is not even the end of the first half here, lads, we're still going. Meanwhile, brawling it up there. Does he get another one? Oh, <laughs> he tried. He tried, lads. I know. Someone's been feeding the dwarves actual dwarven ale. I swear. Jinkies indeed. Oh, well, Elder Receiver. I appreciate your optimism, Mr. Dwarf Coach. I do appreciate your optimism. There's no way that's probably going to work. But you know what? Optimism. The source of any Blood Bowl coach's idea that he could actually win a game. Push me, push you. 
All right, thanks to Blitz. He's covered his balls. All that time, the brothel finally paying off. And here we go. Another solid hit on the runner. Takes him down. Big hit, but still alive. Get over here! Welcome to the Dwarves, turn 8. They need to somehow get the ball and get it here. Didn't say that was easy. Me want more slugging, more fistings. It's like a Saturday night indeed there in Bartholz. All right, there we go. Big push me, push you. All right, Lowney can take a try. Why not? Oh, no, we're going to go over here. All right, knock him senseless. No, into the rudder. Well, you didn't think that one out too well, did you? No, no, definitely not. There we go. Easy pick up. And, of course, an easy drop. I've got the beast in my sights. Yeah, you had something in his sights in there. Yeah, you're absolutely all right, Britannians. Believe it or not, they've done it impossible. Yeah, you're counting that right there. Down to all of four players on the pitch. They've somehow stopped a full Dwarven squad from scoring. I don't think even they know how they did that. There we go. Takes the wrestle, takes them down. And congratulations, we indeed are into halftime. Yes, your halftime score. Surprise, surprise, lads. It's nil to nil. This halftime, of course, oh, that explains much. Kill Kenny, best cream ale. Absolutely made by monks, and they better be because they're all drunk. Kill Kenny Irish Cream Ale. It, it does explain a lot, doesn't it? Uh, all right, so what have we got here coming into the second half? Let's take a look here. Oh, it's the Bretonians' drive. No, I'm serious. It's the Bretonians' drive. Unfortunately, they're down to six players. That they only got some of the KOs back. Here we go. Oh, someone's teared the sprinklers out. Well, we'll see how that changes game in. Again, Bretonians, big advantage they've got to build Bexley speed. Hey, where'd you two bastards come from? Oh, sneaking players on the pitch, is he? And he immediately fails to pick up the ball, despite the fact there's no dwarves anywhere nearby. Has to use the reroll, though. You didn't have to, lad. No, I'm serious. You really didn't have to. You could have just saved the reroll and just gone and figured where the dwarves screw up next time. At least that's the theory, anyway. Push me, push you. And the dwarves take a couple of swings. There we go. Big wrestle takes down the loner. Clearly defectives here. Yeah, how can you tell it's a defective loner? Do you see him dead? No, clearly defective then. I would complain the panda, but he's not the commissioner anymore. No, really, he's not. He sold the position. He really did. Yep, he sold it for lots of goods. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> Indeed. All right, dwarves. Well, they're not wasting a moment on this. Hick, this one. Yeah, that one's going down fine, isn't it? There. Yep, dwarves. Let's see how they can screw this one up. And it's a list. It's an impressive list. Oh, don't worry. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, everything. All right, here we go. Troll Slayer, the surviving one. Yep, one back. Troll Slayer died game one. Big punch down. Makes the GFI, and suddenly it's like the Dwarves are a competent team. They're doing everything right for a change. All right, here we go. Two dice. See, that wasn't jinxing it. Down goes the peasant, but he survives too. Come on, Shorty. On our way. Oh, there we are. This battle is over. Yeah, finally fails the gerbil, goes for it again. Now the dwarves are spending rerolls. They don't need to spend either. It's like both coaches have decided it, it's it's basically taking the entire bill of fuck it all and just upending it. Yep, they pretty much are. All right, Bretonians, they'd like to make something. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Yeah, there's much rejoicing from the peasants, but not for the nobility. Quad skulls. Double skull. Reroll into a double skull. Yep, you saw that right. There we go. Easy hit. Takes him down. Show us a target. Ball goes flying loose here. The dwarves suddenly are slapping the easy button. There we go. Two dice. Gets the easy takedown here. You know, the runner could actually come in and get... Oh, wait. Knocks him in the wrong square. Yep. Yep, Dwarves once again showing their absolute competence on the field. Or lack thereof, as the case may be. There we go, one die block, gets the takedown. Hello! Oh, hello, alright, yeah, hello indeed, he's stunned so much for Sandler. 
Didn't like his last film anyway. No, oh, wait, it was decent! Good boy! Oh, me drink. Get in my belly! Oh, now he's doing it the old fashioned way. There we go. Oh, takes the wrestle. And they both go falling down the heap. And now the runner goes to try and catch the ball. Does he get it? Yes, he does. Easy peasy. What's that? Get your finger out of that bunghole. Yep, the miracle is true. The dwarves do have the ball, mind you. Oh, yeah, wood die block. Now it works. Gets the easy takedown. Bye. You have a target? Yeah, it might only be a KO, but that is devastating. That was the best player in the best position to actually take the dwarves down. And yeah, oops. Yeah, you have just seen the first thing the dwarves have ever had a successful turn this season. Well, the Bretonians can stop this if he can make a dodge. That are alive, you are coming with me. I, I, again, maybe one mistake all game by the Bretonians. Okay, possibly two mistakes. First one was drawing the sock to get this game. Ah, uh, there go the dwarves waddling in, and really, we're gonna stall this? Why? Eat mortar. Eat lead. No, seriously. Why are we stalling? Because you're worried they're all going to come back? Oh. I'm your shooter. Yeah, the fraternity coach really is not enjoying this here. He's already out both his rerolls here. The dwarves are just like, yep, they're going to stall this. Well, they finally had a good turn. That's kind of the whole idea. Yeah, they finally had a good turn. So now they've decided they're going to save and, and wrap this up in a nice little pair of cheese and shove it straight up the fraternity's ass. He really is. Another big hit, big punch right there. Dwarves waddling over. Well, so far no fouling. And now the Bretonians get back. Oh! Oh, that didn't work, did it there? Ooh. Oh, you are a smart one. I understand now. Well, it's not from lack of trying by the Bretonians here. They just now need to get a slightly above average die roll. <laughs> like they said, it's already been going downhill. Even though it's just chaos, it's already going downhill for me. It's amazing what that many chaos can actually do for you there. You think they you think they had elvish armor? And you can see the dwarves look at this line of stall. Yeah, it is a complete line of stall. Yeah, normally that'd be intimidating, but you can look right over their heads. And there he goes, waddling along the line, because of course he is. We'll do it in a jiffy. No, he's not. He's just waddling along the line, looking to refresh his beer. And meanwhile, I come the rest of the dwarves down the field. Now, fortunately, the load is not fouling. I'll, I'll give him that there. Has no one actually told them how to do it? Apparently not there. All right, turn 13. Well, what can the Bretonians do? They're going to have to blitz a hole through somehow. Push me, push you. Well, that didn't help, did it? Shoves the player aside. And now the rest of the Bretonian squad. Well, there's only how many of them? Seven left on the pitch? Well, he's making GFIs here because he's got nothing better to do at this point. He might as well put some kind of pressure in. At least that's the theory anyway. But he's not, if he can help it, he's not giving the dwarves free blocks either. Makes the dodge. Moves over here. How about you, lad? Where are you going? Oh, now he rolls a double six. Of course he does. I. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. And then, of course, rolls the gerbil this to your boy. And say it with me, lads. <laughs> yep, he KO'd himself. Of course he did. Yep. <laughs> Oh, lordy, love a duck. Well, someone's got to love those ducks anyway. Yes, I know, it's another perversion of the Bretonians we don't need to know about. All right, dwarves, back in cruise control, six Bretonians, still a full roster of 11 dwarves. We have not seen this from this coach since he actually for the opening kickoff. Way back on game one. It's just, it never happened. This late in the game, he still has 11 players. Inconceivable! Yes, I know what that means. And here we go. Dwarves have decided they're going to just scrub it up. Well, he might as well. He's got two free rerolls. He might actually even break the arm and do something. Yeah, that is actually true here. Dwarves waddling along here. Yeah, they could absolutely gamble here. They're just, you know, scrumming everything. 
Neymar is just going to stand there with the ball there. It'll look pretty. Yo, Dwarf, that's never happening, lad. You can tie all the braids you want in ribbons into it. It's not looking pretty. All right, he's finally decided to score. He's hearing the heckles. Let's hear the songs. Well, the Dwarves do at last decide to get on with it, and they actually score. Yeah, they finally did. Howl indeed! Welcome to a day where it actually went right, eh? Ah, look at this! The Dwarves still have all 11 players. What's going on here? All right, well, the Knights get to move. Can they actually tie it up here? Shut up and take my money! I, I, I want your money. Just tie it! Okay. All right, well, let's take a look at the Bretonians. Well, he's got most of his KOs back. He's only down two players. This is scorable. He does have the movement for it. Three turns. Problem is he doesn't have any rerolls, so that's a bit of a problem. Eh, at least that's the theory anyway here. Here we go. Solid hit. Solid takedown. Uh, and there comes the peasant. Well, he's got a plan. Let's see how well this works. Two dice. Eh, it's a wrestle. He'll take it. Problem is, that does limit the rest of his plays here. Now he needs the pass action to work! And now he's here to f*** us! Oh. It's not happening, lad. It's just not happening. Clearly, your nobles have spent no time in the brothel this season. None! None of them never going to handle balls, I swear. What do you mean, that's a peasant's job? Really? <laughs> Ask me sister. I don't think she considers herself quite the peasant there. Bit high bro, that one. Alright, meanwhile, dwarves, well, they see a chance here to actually make it 2-0. Which is a high scoring game for a dwarf coach. Meanwhile, two dice here. Push me, push it. See, here's the problem. The Bretonians didn't even get a player into potential scoring position. They're gonna have to trust this one to do all the work. Uh, it might still happen. Keyword, might. And meanwhile, dwarfs charging down the field here. Two dice into the peon, sends them flying. Hello, hello. Eat hot death. Eat KO. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's what the dwarves have been doing all bloody game. They've gotten one casualty. One. A fluke hit. The rest of the time, you swear the dwarves are wearing the kitty gloves here. But it's not like they've really needed to do anything else. The KO's have been dynamite. There's the wrestle. Freeze up and also receive a kid. Yeah, pick up the... You fool! Ah. Yep. Yeah. Fails again. Third bloody tie with the same player. He's failed all three attempts to pick up the ball. He just cannot... He's looking for a three. It's not like the sprinklers are on. What do you mean they're still wet? Phrasing. Oh well. There we go. Big it takes him down. Hey you! Catch! Well he did catch that. Meanwhile, dwarves just keep slugging it up here. Yep, fend off. Yep, there we go. Alright, where's the lunar going? Yeah, you might as well go after him. Doesn't matter anymore. The Batonians now can't score. Oh, we're gonna surf a peasant, are we? Ooh, let's see what the crowd does to him. Nothing. They're dead. <laughs> you know, the crowd doesn't care. <laughs> they really don't. So, peasant, why are you going here, sunshine? If there's the ball. No, seriously, there's the ball. Why are you going for your ball? No? You'll get it later? You know, you might be right. That's the scary part. All right, here comes the troll slayer. Full speed ahead! Eat mortar! Eat lead! Would you like to try that again? There you go. Take that, you sword! Yeah, he took it in sword right in the kisser. Yep, yeah, fails the second gerbil, and he goes down with a solid fist to the face. 
All right, Bretonians, last chance just to get the ball out of the end zone. See, this is why your running shouldn't have been there. Well, they knock him over. That's decent enough. Hey, look, you finally caught the ball here. Message for you, sir. There's the pass, and there's the catch, finally. Shenanigans! 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 Yeah, the, the, the Bretonians finally turned 16. They got a play to work. They only took 16 turns. Oh, well, oh, well, easy dodge here. Well, he might as well protect the ball. He might as well. At least that's not a total humiliation. It's just a bit of a... Oh, really? Oh, he is hoping. This lad is hoping. Here come the dwarves. Round the benders here. One die. It's a skull. Try that again, Sunshine. Nope, still not working there. Aye. <laughs> Push me. Push you. You know, you could have done that better, but at this point, I don't think the dwarves care. They're just happy to get away that no one's dead this game. Big solid punch on the front line. Are we going to see anything else? Maybe? Nope, that is it. Oh, God, what a weird game that one was. Hey, proof the dwarves actually in this league can't win the odd game. Yeah, it's, it's a rarity, isn't it, there? Right, there we are, your final score. One to nil. The Dwarves finally put a win on the board. Now, this is how weird this season's already been here. This is the first time the Dwarves are showing a win. Yeah, weird, isn't it there? Anyway, that is it for today. And we're going to go and deal with technical difficulties over in the other one there. But don't worry, balls fails. Fall back to the old reliable here. And we'll just keep getting the car set for you there. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your old thing. And Nuffle, bless someone's dice.